Hey, it's the old Billy Rock under. It's August the second. Right here in the creek again. Been at it probably I don't know 30, 40 minutes. But the rain, it ain't washed a whole lot out. Is what I figured it would, but but it washed one out. We got one right here in the ground. I don't know. Well, I guess it's a point. It's a point or a piece of gravel because it's the same color as gravel. Let's see if you can see it or not. I guess it's a point. One covered together. Wow. Holy smoke. That's a smoker. That's a good one, buddy. Good deal. Oh my goodness, look at the teeth in that bad boy. Wow, that would hurt. Look at that thing. It's pokey now, it hurts to touch it. That is one toothy point. Like maybe a stem based Kirk, serrated. There's one bad majama right there. I don't think it's got a nick one off of it. That is absolutely killer. Already a day maker. We got this stretch on it through or nothing but gravels. We will not find anything else, so I'll get back to y'all. All righty, y'all. Back again. We're back at the little overhang. It's, it's been dug out. You know, we're trying to read, you know, dig around the drip line edge. Creek only produced one day, but you can see I, I dug this place back in 2012. Found quite a few points in this little place. But we... We opened another few little sample holes here and there and kind of got one sticking out. I ain't sure what it is. Do know it's got a base on it though. So we'll try to let's get in and see what we got here. This muddy is cramped today. It's loose. Two years on it. Oh man. Slight nick off the tip of it. Man, look at the bevel on this thing. Base is ground. Looks like maybe a little pine tree. That's a killer point. I'm not for sure on this material that I get it get it cleaned up. Man, the, the dirt and mud just sticks these points since overhang. Felt quite a few black points out that made out of concoction and, and canal chert. And I mean that's hard to find unless you know unless you find it in the shifter. I mean find them laying on the ground really really hard. Man, that's a secure little point. Sure, I wish that there gone tip was there. I mean, look at the bevel. It's got some killer flaking on it. Just a slight nick off the tip, tip of its gun. I love finding these little pine tree things. Man, that's a beautiful point. Back there, there's like a little shelf uh, where you can see where the the dirt was at once upon a time. Here, we took this overhang down about four foot deep. Modern man trash. Oh, what'd you find there, man? Piece of a plate. Oh, a piece of a plate. <laughs> That's yeah. old, though. Yeah. Early 20th century, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but back there, let's see if I can focus it in on it. There's like a little shelf back there. And I hold every bit of, right there where Brown's standing, 
right there, man. Point back there to that, that little hole right there. We hold every bit of that out. And I, I guarantee you they was 15 ar arrowheads come out of that right there in a nice salt. Uh, I need my crowbar. I found my little quartz axe in this place right here, hitting a full grooved axe. It was right there. See where, see where I got that nut and stone laid out in that shelf? It was right down there against that wall where I found both of them at. Like I said, there's quite a few arrowheads come out of this place. So. All righty, hillbilly rock hunter, back here again. The last time we was up, up here the other day, we found a point and the battery went dead on our camera. But we're back again. We're taking washing all the dirt out that we dug over the bank. See if we can see one. But uh, we got one. We got one right down here. We got Brian here with me. Got our buddy we brought along with us. But we got a looks like a point right here. I don't know if it's all right or not. But you just barely know if you can see it in the mud or not. It is right there. We'll pull it out here and see what we got. Oh yeah. Man, this stuff's messy. Wash it off, see what we got here. Your little pine tree. I think that ear just might be worked off of it that way. Got some serrations on it. Needle, needle tip. Base is way grounded. Pull this one out there, man, live action. Basically, what we've been doing here, I mean, this place, it's been dug out. You know, I mean, I've, I've showed y'all this place before and over, uh, shared on the videos. I can't talk good today. But, but right here's some dirt we've just been throwing down the hill, and we've been taking water and, you know, washing it and stuff. What you got there, man? Oh, nothing. Slate chip. But we've been taking water and washing this dirt right here. Well, you can see we've been spraying it with that right there and taking bu buckets of water and pouring on this right here, and we've... We found one or two this way. Uh, you know, this little place, it always seems like it gives every time we come here. But if we find anything else, I'll get back for y'all. Y'all have a good one. Alrighty, I'm back here to clean up video. Uh, this one point we got of the day whenever the camera went dead, or right in the middle of it. But look at the teeth in the sky right here. I mean, this bad boy's got teeth like crazy on it. Looks like a Kirk stem point to me. You got this killer right here. It's, it's beveled like crazy. Little pine tree with the bevel on this point. It's got a little tip thing to it. Found hit at the overhang. It's a killer point. Also found this little guy right here at the overhang. The, the phone went dead on us and didn't get it recorded. It's made out of Carter Cave. Super nice little point. Some kind of little side notch. This little killer pine tree right here. That's just a bad point. Look at that needle tip on that guy. That ear, I thought it was broke, but 
He has worked that way. That's a killer piece. I don't know if you can see on the phone, but it's got some crazy working on it. Got some serrations, needle tip. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. See y'all next time.